hello guys welcome back to our channel today we are going to learn something very exciting the honeywell experion pks dcs architecture to understand it in a better way i will start with the automation layers uh, to understand these layers more uh, detail you should visit our channel and watch our previous videos on uh, these layers of automation so i will quickly start uh, to explain the, these layers and then we will go to the control system architecture so uh, as you can see that in uh, control in automation field uh, different components are connected uh, in this in different various layers starting from our base layer level zero uh, at which we normally uh, connect our devices our plcs uh, our dcs controllers our field bus devices and all those things are connected at this level and at our second level we we connect uh, different control station or servers or operator station engineering workstations and all those things are connected at level two and then at level three uh, which is our advanced application network we connect our uh, field device managers we can connect our uh, process uh, historian database and different things and then the last uh, layer could be for business network or for enterprise network where you have different enterprise uh, resource planners erps and different sort of software which look after your complete businesses or in the in the in the complete enterprise so this is a general overview and uh, then we will move on to our specific uh, honeywell dcs control system architecture so uh, let's, uh, let's just focus on this this general picture if you if you see here from bottom we have field instruments coming from the bottom and those field instruments are connected to our io module and see these are series 8 io module it could be series c io module and this is another series c io series 8 io module those io modules are connected to links to your controllers your dcs controllers and that controllers is connected to, to this ft network and then the same for the your field bus devices fim the and your pro, um, propibus uh, gateway module all of them are connected here with ft network and if you note down uh, at the right side of our this architecture we have honeywell hhc 900 cell 2 plc and master logic ml 200 plc that is also from honeywell for process control so there's these can also be connected to our fte and uh, there's also one other option you can connect third party uh, PLCs, DCSs, or some other things via OPC, metric on OPC to our FTE network. So, so this is our first layer. You you connect each and everything to our FTE network, and that FTE network is connected to um, our this layer. And what we can have on, on this layer, we can have our console station here. We can have our flex station here. We can have our redundant server, and also we can have a simulate uh, simulation node. SIM 3 C 300 so the, which is for actually for uh, simulating your process uh, your actual field process and a simulation environment you just practice it you just verify your process especially it is made for operators and uh, process engineers they post they simulate everything here and then it is uh, then implement for your servers and your engineering station and on our advanced application network you can connect uh, your field device manager which which see your field devices uh, and it, their calibrations and then there is a process historian database which historize your important data and keep it for your future analysis so uh, this is this is our basic uh, structure of uh, our Honeywell DCS now we are going to discuss this part uh, in well in our next slide so this is a bit more elaborated slide for our c300 in its related ios so here you can see that we have series 8 ios uh, we have pm ios the older versions and same or here as well same goes here as well and as, as, as normally you can see that there are two type of io link one is i link one i link two on which you can connect uh, different ios to a series 3 controller uh, as a as a limit 
storage capacity you can you can connect 40 ios on each link maximum 40 ios and overall you can connect only 64 ios to one c300 so for uh you can see that there there is there are um, cdc ios connected uh to c300 here uh, and here as well and then uh we have our redundant trunk controller so we get our our network port connected to uh, our control firewall and say the secondary the primary and secondary both comes to the primary and secondary control firewall and and it is mandatory that at each and every c300 controller must be connected to our control firewall module and after that firewall, firewall module is connected to uplink uh, ft level switches this is the primary comes to the primary switch the secondary comes to the secondary switch and then you can see that um, there are various station here shown at the top uh, esp stand for the uh, experience flex station the experion console station esc the experion uh, server esv and with the shadow it, it it means that it is redundant servers and application control environment which is uh, your engineering station so all these are connected with the your controller via this ft switches level 2 switches and you can note that there is this uh, looping between this these two switches so it provides you not only two parts but four parts to your the your controller uh, and your different control station so this is this is uh, FT actually stand for the fault tolerant ethernet so you can tolerate different more faults in this this uh, now let us see one more clear image uh, of how the network is uh, shown here so you can clearly see that we have connected our basic main controller and controller cluster here another controller cluster here uh, another controller cluster here both have primary and secondary uh, uh, cables and ends up in your primary and secondary uh, switches and you can see that there's another switch which combines your different PLCs and those ends up in your um, qualified Cisco FT level two switches and you can see that all those things which we earlier explained as well uh, the console station the flex station the application uh, control environment experience servers the uh, extension station control station the uh, extended server and then the safety manager and the terminal server and the domain controller all of them are connected to your level 2 switches uh, one thing uh, should be noted here that a terminal server is actually used for serial communication whenever you connect anything you want to communicate some serial signals from any controller mm, let's say from any side of controller coming from here the control logics for for example we have clx and we want to uh, connect some uh, serial signals from here to our uh, our station our uh, experience platform so first of all it is it is mandatory to terminate those those signals at your terminal server and after that those can be connected to your uh, level 2 switches okay so after terminal server uh, one more thing is that there there could be a controller if the network is bigger like if there, there is a more than 10 nodes you you should maintain a domain controller for user groups and your secondary security purposes uh, and then you can see that these or uh, all of these can be connected to our upper layer uh, via some router to different phd servers your do other domain controller your uh, all other uh, subsystems and third party applications and so on you can connect that switch to our firewall and this firewall you can see it here this is connected via this uh, cable and that firewall allows some terminal service servers your management servers your antivirus e servers phd shadow servers and all those demilitarized zones stuck here via this this uh, firewall and finally you can feed this this data after passing it through a firewall to your enterprise switch and enterprise which can connect many ERPs or other application here at mm, your net so this is this is uh, yeah, Hannibal experience PKS architecture there are a lot of things uh, to be discussed here but it is a general overview if you have any question if you want any understanding so you can put your comments down below and I will try to uh, address uh, as soon as possible and reply you thanks for watching Kind subscribe to our channel and hit the like button to support us thanks goodbye